I think it's amazing to walk around campus and, and a lot of us have been across the globe. We have this global education located here in a little town. All my friends back home in college right now, they're not doing that. <laughs> Seeing just the change in elevation, just have these mountains all around you and the northern lights, beautiful blue ocean. Looked out the window on our, our way back and it's, wow, I am so lucky to be here right now. I don't know how many schools are sending their students on an all expenses paid trip to learn. It's something that not everyone gets to experience and that I got to do it as a sophomore. It's why I chose this college. This is a place that has the support for a faculty to be able to travel abroad with students. The dean is very serious when he says all of our Wabash students to have an immersion trip. None of us are in this class for a grade. We're not there to just get an A and move on. We're there to learn about the culture, the history, poetry. Going on this trip was a really good way to reaffirm that and to show us some of this culture. It was a good reminder why we're in this class. I mean, it's all very well to learn about stuff in the classroom, but then seeing it in the real world and seeing it in practice and hearing about it from people who are experts in that area, it's so much more real and has such a huge impact on people. It's impossible to quantify. <laughs> we're in a little basalt cave. Right, and now we're here at the Skogafoss waterfall. Just shows the dedication of the college to our students. Overall, it's been a great experience. We do have the best alumni group in the entire country, if not the world. A lot of their money goes into us being able to travel. A lot of the funding comes from the Wabash community. I mean, I'm just going to say on behalf of us now, we're really thankful for everything.